Hello my single solitary viewer and welcome back to Project Zomboid. This is how Officer, Fire Officer, Rennell Kelly died. I uh, decided to make uh, a fireman. So here she is, here she is. Fire Officer Vernell Kelly. And it's time to, oh, very lucky. Uh, I say very lucky. <laughs> That's because of course I made a smoker. Uh, and we have a hoodie here. Damn jeez. Okay, I think the hoodie's gonna be good. Let me just uh, zoom in on Officer Kelly as much as I can here. There you go. And this is just uh, to have something so I can put like uh, on screenshots. <laughs> that is all. Um, let me put on this hoodie. Uh, wear hood up, thank you. Why are we doing that? Just a little added zombie protection. So we are in the zombie apocalypse. I am Flusmaker. I have uh, just found carpentry for intermediates and mechanics for beginners. Forging for beginners. Uh, let me check uh, her skills because it could be that the forging is too high. So we've got a little bit of sprinting, a little bit of axe, more fitness and strength than usual, but it's just plus one. But instead of starting with at five, uh, she starts at six. Um, she's a smoker. Short-sighted, cat's eyes, that's uh, so you can see at night, of course. Uh, well, me as well, but the, otherwise the video would be pitch black and you're like, uh, <laughs> what's going on here? She's lucky. Uh, she's fit and stout. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, th those come automatically with being a fire officer. So it's Fire Officer Vernell Kelly. And, um, yeah, I'm looking for, looking for stuff here. Strawberries fresh, nice canned stuff. So let's look uh, if uh, I, there's something I can use as a weapon. Because I'm not sure I can... Hmm. It's not great. It's uh, not great. No weapons here. And probably no weapons here either. So I have a um, random spawn... Um, so I'll, first I'll have to try and identify where I am. Mm. And it's raining, because of course it is. So, I'm going to eat, uh, stuff. Satiated, all right, let's eat all of that. Then we're going to leave with the grapefruit. And some books. And um, if I look at the minimap, it looks like I uh, am outside of somewhere. I am not in somewhere. I am outside of somewhere. <laughs> uh, these feel like uh, <coughs> books I may want. They're all going to get heavy pretty quick, but, um, okay. Oh, oh, okay. I well, you know, <laughs> you've start, once you've played often enough, you start recognizing spawns. Um, I think this is like in the, di somewhere off in the distance in Muldrow? There you go. Um, so there are more houses that way. That one has a uh, has a shed in the back. That's uh, c that could be very important in terms of uh, getting weapons, but unfortunately, I I doubt it. It's unlocked. The odds that it's unlocked are low. And we have friend in here. Oh, we have multiple friends. Shit. I don't like uh, having to fight without weapons. How did he get like so dirty already? He just stepped out. Uh, 
All right, let's use your fitness. Use your fitness, Vernell. Okay, so. Let's have a look here. Maybe I'll find, yeah, a griddle pan. Oh no, rolling pin is actually better, right? Let me, let me look at the damage. Damage. Dam well, the condition means I'm using this rolling pin as a weapon. Uh, foraging for beginners, I already have that. Farming for beginners. We're gonna nab space crew. Okay, well, uh, speaking of TV, these zombies didn't have watches, but uh, just in case. Who's that? All right. The cook show. Okay. So that means we're probably uh, 6, 6 a.m. or so. See you all tomorrow. So the cook show is not particularly important, but might as well, you know, it was there. Uh, these are bottled in this disinfectant. We're grabbing that. We're grabbing the vitamins. We'll grab the plaster. Alright, so I can already hear the amount of zombies that are uh, too high for my uh, tastes. Although I do now have a weapon. That's at the front door, right? Okay. Oh, wow. I love it when I do that. I put the garbage bag in the garbage bag in order to create garbage bagception. No, but uh, on day one, you have so little stuff. It could be that your best option for, ooh, for stuff is uh, basically... Um, hmm... Yeah, I'll drop this and equip this as my primary weapon, the club hammer. It's already better. Uh, the box of nails is like good stuff. Mm, it's you know what? It's not that heavy. Point point zero three. I can put that in the garbage bag. Because nails are pretty useful once you start uh, building stuff uh, with your carpentry skills that you've uh, you know raised all the way up to one thousand. That's already a lot of zombies down there. I'm not. Not on board with that many zombies. I don't have that much stuff. So that little cabiny thing has a zombie behind. Does it? Is it a hoodie? It has or a bag? I think it's a hoodie. But I do want to make sure. Yeah, it's damaged clothes. I think. That's unfortunate. Got a wallet. No, oh, another bottle of disinfectant. Good stuff. So normally you wouldn't find a bottle of disinfectant on a zombie. But this is because I have, uh, for this playthrough, I've added a mod. There's a lot of mods in the Steam Workshop. And of course you don't want stuff that uh, makes the game unbalanced. However, uh, that one was uh, is called Sensible. So obviously, you know, it's sensible. It's some sensible zombie loot. I think I saw out of the corner of my eye. Yes. Oof. Okay. Who else? Unfortunately, when you uh, you know, you make noisy things. Poor Sinead O'Connor. Her career really went. Uh, she was she was barely recognizable. Okay. Uh, nice nice place you got there, sir. Oh, military helmet. That's even better protection than the uh, the hood of the hoodie. Frying pan, oven mitt, canned sardines, and nothing in here. So yeah, don't. Oh wait, hold on. There's a little. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll grab the bandage, and while I'm here, we'll disinfect this bandage. 
There you go. We have a sterilized bandage now for uh, all our wound purposes. So unfortunately, I don't think I spawned in an area that is going to help me find a car very quickly. Nothing's perfect. Yeah, I'm not sure. I thought I recognized where I was, but I'm not sure I, I do. So uh, we'll, we'll see. I'll look for other... Uh, I'll look for other signs. Uh, it's 11th, so I want to be sure to tune in to the uh, carpentry show in 30 minutes. I don't want to miss that. That one is uh, quite important, in my opinion. Because uh, I do want to do some base building this game, so every time... Well, I just don't want to be too far away from TVs when the cooking show is on. I hear a zombie. Yeah, it's a, it's in the backyard. It's outside, or is it? It's in this room here. No, okay. So it's like over on the other window. Yeah. Uh, reading glasses. I think we good here. I think all I need really is. Oh, the, I think I can close the front door though. All I need right this minute is to sit down and watch the uh, carpentry show to uh, gain my carpentries. So speaking of, I should probably... Oh, that's carpentry for intermediates. I thought it was carpentry for beginners. Um, if I start reading fishing for beginners, when I, when I watch the fishing show, that's going to help uh, me raise my levels faster. All right, let's fast forward the show. Woodcraft. So put that book back in the bag. And let's get uh, our show back on the road. Uh, I did gain I did gain a level of uh, carpentry, yeah, and I got some cooking too. Okay, nice. Whoops. Get one zombie over there. Well, it's not the uh, the most zombie-infected area of town, so that, at least there's that. And I say of town, but... It... Yeah, I... Th I think I'm in the uh, north end of Moldra. Oh, there's a garage over here. Oh, and, and a car. That could, that could be of use. Once you've played this game often enough, you kind of recognize some some things on site. Video game, nice. Chevalier Dart Key, we got potential wheels. I say potential because uh, we don't know that there's fuel in there. Uh, electricity for beginners is a grab. Uh -huh. Okay, why would you put this table over here? <laughs> like this. Uh, cabbage. We'll uh, eat the grapefruit, because it turns out I just turned peckish. And a well-fed, but that's not quite good enough. There you go, and I put all that in the garbage. The bag of... Oh, pipe wrench. The pipe wrench is going to be heavy, but I think it's even better than... Even better than the club hammer. No, it's pretty much this. Oh, except the weight is really quite different. I'll put it in the bag, but I think that's going to substantially change the weight I'm carrying around. I'll check these because sometimes there's a chance of finding guns or formal uh, shirts. <laughs> and you can't, you can't, you know, miss a chance to get a formal shirt. Now, can you? And that's a country in Africa. Oh yeah, we had video game. So uh, here we got the car. It's tiny. But what about our gas situation? Our gas situation is there is none. 
So we don't have wheels quite yet. Uh, do we have a window on this garage? We do, but... Oh, we have a generator here. Um, fortunately, I need the, you know... Um, do you know this uh, and that about generators book? How to use generators. And we have a TV here. Um, so... Just so I remember where we can find a potential generator. I'm gonna note that on the map. We got a lot of zombies down there. A lot of zombies. Uh, yeah. Is there... Well, I... Uh, one saw me already. Yeah, but I... If I am indeed... In the north of Muldra, I do need to start going south. Because that's where all the good stuff is. <coughs> Most importantly, like, uh... Oh. Someone's got a nice dress. Yeah, this mallet is pretty, uh... Pretty strong. Emerald earrings, huh. Oh, seems a... Seems like a nice touch. And metallic dress. Ooh, that's a... Way fancier than the red one. Yeah, now we've got the fancy stuff. Just because, you know, it's the apocalypse and no one sentient is around to appreciate uh, how you look. Women know you dress up for yourself first, right? You don't dress up for others. First and foremost, you do it for yourself. Hmm. It's a lot of zombies around here. A lot of zombies. I mean, you gotta get her done. Oh, this is Kentucky after all. We're gonna get the military boots, thank you. Oh, cookie. I mean... I like this uh, sensible zombie loot. Where in it? When else can you kill a zombie and then get rewarded with a cookie? I think that's very sensible. So there's a few other cosmetic mods in play, like uh, throw them out, throw them out the window or run out the window. So for example. I could, I think I could, I don't want to try it, because obviously it's going to be, uh, I'm going to injure myself doing it, but I think I'd be able to run and jump through a window, you know, even though, even though that's less than smart. <laughs> uh, there's a shed here, and potential farming equipment, so I'm not ready to uh, start. My phone, my phone went off. Not ready to uh, start getting uh, stuffs. Where are you going, sir? Sneakers and a credit card. Not sure many people wander around carrying tweezers. Electricity for intermediates. Fork. I'm gonna grab the can opener just because. Uh, yeah, I think we're we're good in here. I don't need to uh, stick around more than necessary, but I do have two zombies to. Can I harvest these cabbages and shit? Or are they not ready yet? Like, maybe harvesting stuff is a way to raise my farming? Ooh, fresh 
cards. So. Young cabbages. Uh, I cannot harvest them yet. They're not ready. Info. Young broccoli. I mean, if it just keeps on raining on this stuff... One could, like, come later and harvest, right? Question mark? <laughs> ah, cigarettes. That's something I do need. Well, I'll grab the red digital watch. Empty gas can. Big get, big get, in my opinion. But I'm already starting to carry a lot. And, uh, unfortunately... Yeah... I don't think uh, that's getting away. So I think beyond here is like the um, the rich part of town, the like a gated community type of a Muldra up north. I really need a an actual real bag because the the I've reached the limits of this garbage bag. I might have to dump the the wrench. It's too heavy. And uh, maybe find a wrench later. I might have to do that, I think. Oh, my God. Sometimes my skills are so impressive. Yeah, I'm gonna going to have to drop the uh, the cabbage is also pretty big right no it's not that big but I'm going to have to drop the pipe wrench right here I don't have a choice I do have a choice but uh, you know that uh, I'm still slightly overweight here even after dropping that so, right, is this the rich part? Nope, it's not the gated community of Muldra. Okay, I'm not... To be fair, I'm, I'm not that familiar with the north of Muldra. But I'm pretty sure this is Muldra. Dog food, mint candy. Well, I can't... Oh, well, I might as well. <laughs> might as well just keep grabbing it. I don't even have a screwdriver to uh, play with. Uh, are there... no. These houses don't look particularly interesting. No bags. Too many zombies there. This is a, Is this a big garage or is that a house? That's a house. There's a lot of zombies. I, uh, of course I have more zombies and stuff than, uh, the King Murdoch run. But even then, you know, there's not supposed to be that many zombies on day one. Like, the population uh, goes up and up and up over time. It's not, like, fully realized on day one. At least it's not supposed to. Yeah. Here, the soft growl of zombie, yep. Yep. Taking the leather jacket for the defense, and I'm removing the hoodie. Oh, this, uh, hopefully this is drivable. So just to confirm, I don't want to do it right now, though. 
But that does confirm that I am indeed in Muldra. Okay, and what I want is all the way down there. Um, so what's the plan this, uh, this playthrough, is what you're wondering. Does Vernell have a really stupid plan like King Murdoch? And the answer is no, actually. I feel like I'm potentially getting good enough at this game that I might try a, a, an actual survival run where I may try to live. Ooh. Why do you have five nine millimeter rounds anyway? Let's Okay. I wanted to invite them inside, because if I did, there'd be, I'd be a chance of them dropping the key to the truck. <laughs> so I would have maybe have artificially kind of generated the key to the truck, but I think they, they still have a chance of doing it if I kill them right next to it. A lollipop painkillers is in. I should even, like, try the truck. Well, it's not locked. We've got bandage and lighter. Unfortunately, the Kentucky Herald truck does not have a key. So let's see if uh, I can obtain one of the said key inside here. Uh, shit! You know, uh, I'm missing the uh, the the show. I'm missing the TV show here. And uh, in order to uh, limit the amount of weight I'm carrying, I'm gonna eat all of a cabbage <laughs> for for supper. She's well fed. Well fed is not good enough. We're gonna eat the cherry because the cherry like goes uh, rotten pretty 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 quickly. Maybe this uh, has the no. Okay. Still looking for wheels like a moron. Whoops. Okay. Well, I don't know what happened there, but I'll take it. Blue doll striped t-shirt. Uh, because I ate much, I... Oh, no. No, all of them, really? Okay. Well, that was a... Oh, and uh, there's a few more here. That's inconvenient. Can I be super discreet about this? Really? Why... Why are y'all all so interested in me? Vernell Kelly is just a... She's just a fireman. A firewoman. A fire officer. <laughs> there are no brains there to consume. Oh. Hmm. Come on. Okay. I think we handled that okay. But there's still more zombies to take care of. Uh, and none of them maybe had a... I'll grab the cookie. I mean, obviously. Did any of them look like they had the keys to that ride over there? Wallet, speedo, socks. Okay. Mm. 
Why would you lock your doors? Yeah, that was a that's a fine looking vehicle. It looks like it has decent amount of storage space. I, I would have loved to get that one. Um. Matches and cigs. Shell suit jacket. Oh, a satchel. All right. So inside the satchel, I'm gonna put the books because I think those need to reduce their carry weight significantly and I think that's going to help uh, the bottles of uh, disinfectant as well and the vitamins if I can yeah that fits Painkillers, too, and I'll put all the medicine. Alright. This... Well, that, that did drop my uh, total weight, yes. <laughs> Not in the most optimal way, I would say, but... Uh... Hey, uh, beggars cannot be choosers. So that's a big bookshelf with a lot of books. Is there foraging for So no key for the car here, right? No, no key for the car here. So, a little bit cheeky, but yeah, see, I got the house key instead, but I wanted the, the car key. But, you know, that's what happens. If you lure the zombie inside, it can generate the loot that is relevant to that house. So, if I, uh, if I say hello, hello, hello. You say hello, and I say, I'd like to bash your face with this mallet. Alright, we got another house key, or is that the same house key? I can't tell. Like, jitter, 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 wow. Shotgun shells. I'm actually gonna grab the shotgun shells just in case. Because shotguns might be fun. Still, no car keys. Uh... And... Yeah, I... I it would make no sense to me that, you know, the, door, the the car is locked. Oh, however, that's a big get. Another gas can. So I have two of those. Of course, now that's real heavy. Um, that's real heavy. <sighs> and I need uh, to get a place to sleep the night. So I think this house is going to have to be it, because, uh, yeah, someone's tired. So I didn't get very lucky, so to speak, in terms of getting a car today. Really, I'm really looking for carpentry, but, yeah. Annotated map. Let's read that just in case. It's Muldra, but what, what's annotated? Uh, all the way down south, down south, big crowd. That's unfortunate. Is that down south or? Yeah, because we're we're all the way, we 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 spawned in this house over here, and now we're all the way here. I think we're here currently. Now the big crowd uh, here is a uh, 
bad deal because um, I think the hit vids is over here, and it's it's that's something that is of a great import. Uh, of course, there's medical shit, but uh, we already knew that was a pharmacy over here, so that's not that's not any new information. The big crowd is a the big problem. <laughs> not happy about big crowds. Um, I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow but um, yeah we're gonna eat ourselves a, a cookie as a reward for a uh, survival well survived so far <laughs> that's that's all I can say about it um, so that's gonna be it for episode one of uh, Vernell Kelly's adventures Tune in next time for, well, uh, do I even find a car? We'll see. Sponsored by the Flues Crew on Patreon.